really wanted homeschool to be something for them that is um, interactive and that they get to experience uh, the things that they're learning about in the books. And so we've had the opportunity to take a tour of the Auburn Core Duesenberg Museum today. And um, it's not just about cars, right? Like we're seeing the beautiful cars, um, but also learning about the historical time period in which they were made. I'm really excited to learn more about these uh, old cars. Anytime that you have a homeschool group uh, and you're working on a special unit with your kids, we can work with you uh, to be able to uh, give your group uh, a really unique experience that you can't get at other museums. So we're really fortunate to be able to have that kind of uh, ability to be so flexible with homeschool groups. The color I would pick neon pink. <laughs> I think I would pick like light purple maybe. Inside as the seats, I would probably take gold. Same. Probably red and black. Would probably be a white and red car. I like to really draw parallels for our groups who come here. In the 1920s uh, and 1930s, when we have our cars here on display, the world was getting bigger for families. And nowadays here in the 2010s and 2020s, the world is again getting bigger for families. Now you can Zoom with anyone in China, whereas for the 1920s family, just being able to travel across state was a huge achievement. My favorite thing to see was how each car looked completely different. So one would look like a spaceship, one would look like a race car, others would look like they were um, too rusty to move and others looked like they were brand new just out of the shop. Windshield wipers, uh, it wasn't automatic, There was, you, the, the, the car I was in was from 1911, so you had to you had move the windshield wipers to wipe off like the rain or things like that. Yeah. They're really cool. Like um the uh the lights, they kind of look like flowers. They kind of look like they look really really cool. Yeah, and I like the in every corner it's like four leaves like just popping out. It was cool how the building was inspired by Egyptian, African, and Mayan art. Just to see all those crazy paintings and cool floors. I just feel like I want to go back in time and ask how they did this art. It's so cool.